I'm going to take the liberty of just making a few uh, comments at the end. Uh, that was absolutely fantastic, Akito, and thanks for putting a different face on the whole symposium. I think it's an incredible message. Well, you saw some of us argue about um, whether or not insect declines were happening and where they were and, and maybe the rates, and you saw some conflicting uh, reports. But I, I think based on Peter Raven's talk, we know based on first principles that insects are declining. The little things that run the world are having a tough time. We could be the advocates for them. They don't have a voice at the table. There's probably at least seven million species. And um, basically what Aikido is asking you to do is uh, take actions, but you could be the ambassadors uh, for these things that don't get to vote. Um, but based on first principles, we know biodiversity is in trouble. So we don't, I, I want to repeat a message that Dan Jansen has been making uh, for a long time. We don't necessarily need to collect more data to take action. We need data to take certain kinds of actions to understand stressors. But we absolutely can act now. Um, Rome's burning if you're an insect. And uh, there's a lot of low risk options or no risk options uh, that we can do now. Um, again, that's basically summarized for you in, in uh, Matt Forster, Scott Black, uh, president of the Xerxes Society, and Emma Pelton's paper. So I uh, redirect you uh, to that paper uh, for things that you could do. Uh, I actually want to underscore climate change. I think climate change really came out strongly today, and we didn't actually know, hear each other's talks. We didn't know what was going to happen. Um, but it's clear that climate change um, has effects in the mountains of California. It uh, could explain some of the decline in Britain, according to McGregor that just came out. The beetles in Hubbard Brook, it's snow cover, that's climate change. And uh, just the absolutely scary message from Dan and uh, Dean, um, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, from Matt Forster and Lee Dyer's uh, Dyer data uh, fr from La Selva. Uh, we, we know that that is carbon in the atmosphere. That may be uh, the single greatest problem and threat uh, facing biodiversity going forward. I agree with Matt that it was land use, and maybe it'll be land use until uh, the human population starts growing. But right now, carbon is really going to be a problem, and it's, it's all of these related problems, the knock-on effects of stressing plants, of droughts, climate variability. It's not just the temperature. And um, the carbon is also driving uh, the, the nitrification, or the burning of fossil fuels is driving that nitrification that you heard about from at least two or three different speakers. And so it's the nitrates and nitrites in that burning of fossil fuel that's coming down uh, to fertilize the planet, uh, particularly impacting nitrogen-poor ecosystems. So um, again, I just want to encourage you all to take action. The speakers will be up here uh, if you want to interact with them for another 40 minutes or something like that. So thank you very much for attending.